good day yesterday. Got all my stuff done. It was a day off. I just had fun. Didn't really do anything that I had to. Good time at the beach. Good exercise. Nice brunch with my wife. A couple of good walks. Some good talks. Some heavy, heavy talks. A few, a few light tears, even. The emotion came because... Well, I don't want to talk about my wife's personal stuff. But um, it's hard work organizing ourselves into a, a phase transition, if I can use that term. I know I talk incessantly about our coming retirement and the new life to come in these videos, which I... I shouldn't, I shouldn't feel bad about doing this. It's, a, it's my diary after all, and this is a big event. Um, I think I've mentioned many, many, many times that I'm afraid that I won't, I'm not up to the task. It's a very first world problem, first world challenge, but I'm not up to the task of making good do and good life of the freedom that seems to be on the horizon here for us. And Yumiko's having that same challenge. We're both making efforts at this point to get ready, but we're both a little bit afraid. And Yumiko is making an effort on her own. She's trying really hard. She works really hard at it. Um, and it's not yielding the fruit that she wants yet at this point. And I'm working to encourage her and support her and, and be there for her. And that's where the light tears come from. The effort of trying, of not seeing the results yet. And being uh, appreciative of the support and um, yet frustrated at the results thus far. Now, I'm going to draw a line right there. I'm afraid that what I'm going to say next will get tangled up in what I just said. They're not. They're separate, totally separate things. So there was that. How to make good use of ourselves beyond our parenthood years and beyond our working years. That's one thing. Well, I guess maybe not. Maybe I should get out my big eraser and erase that line. <laughs> Maybe they're connected after all. There's a second thought in conversations that Yumiko and I both had yesterday. We talked about falling into the hole of old age. We recounted, each of us, our experience of, the, well, I'll just say it. I'm seeing my senpai, which is a Japanese word, which means those who are before. Usually in school, it would mean like the upperclassmen in class and or at work, those who were hired before you. It's your, your seniors, you know, you're, and then there's senpai and then the ko, kohai are the people that are the younger, right? It's a differential thing. It's a, thing of respect and guidance and apprenticeship, etc. I'm seeing my senpai, those who are five years older than me, 65-ish. That, mm, that's about right, about 65, who have already stopped working. They're changed. And almost every one of them, in a way that I would not consider the change I would want to have. There's really only one person, my senpai, and, uh, that has somehow weathered it. It's Juan. Hi, Juan, if you see this. He's weathered it somehow. That's why he's my mentor. One of the many reasons. The rest seem to have fallen into the hole or are in the process of falling in. 
Yumiko and I had a really deep conversation about this yesterday. Yumiko and I don't have a lot of deep conversations. Yumiko and I have a lot of conspiratorial conversations um, where we're working together as a team to get through life together, to raise our daughter, to manage our household, to, to, to do things. We're like a partnership in that capacity. That's what most of our conversations, and those don't require a lot of deep emotion. They're more, more strategic and logistical in their nature. Although we do share a very deep uh, alignment in our values. Maybe that's why we don't have to talk about them. But yesterday's conversation was about falling in the hole of post-retirement, the, the hole of post-retirement. And I told her, I opened the conversation by telling her how my senpai, almost to a man and a woman, appears to have fallen into the hole. And then she shared with me about her experience on the same, in the same capacity. I won't get into details. Just leave it there. We're both worried about that. There's something about being engaged as a parent and a, and a, and a worker that keeps us current in some way, maintains us on the front line, keeps our goods about us, so to speak, as Stilbo might say. Maybe I shouldn't bring, I shouldn't bring Stilbo into this. So we, anyway, we had that talk. That was a heavy-duty talk. The, there were no tears related to that one. Although, now I start to see it, despite my, further, my, my disclaimer earlier that they weren't related, maybe they are related in a way. Maybe if... Yumiko's unable to succeed in her efforts of finding good engagement beyond the work world, beyond the parenting life. Maybe she'll fall into the hole. I definitely see myself as vulnerable. I mean, beyond vulnerable. I see, my, I see myself falling in all the while aware of it's happening. Yumiko told me, Kurt, you have to, you have to, because I told her, I said, I said maybe I'll just, because I have these ideas I want to get back into my YouTube stuff, right? The, you know, Softy Papa, I want to bring Softy Papa back in force. Uh, the new, but the new Softy Papa, hopefully improved Softy Papa. And I told her yesterday, I said, maybe instead of that, maybe I'll just <coughs> spend my old age and my freedom reading. She said, she, she said in so many words, watch out, Kurt. The hole that you could fall in is, is there in plain sight. She's right. Less so if I endeavor to become Softy Papa again. Even if I don't succeed at it. Even if I simply run my YouTube channel with mediocre results. The very act of doing it should keep me out of the hole for a while. Mm, she's right, as always. The other thing that happened yesterday was I visited Bob, my neighbor Bob, two doors down. Remember Bob? Going down pretty quickly in the last year and a half that Yumiko and I have been here. Talked to him every day outside this window. I opened this window, these shades. After when the, sun, when the sun comes up and open the window and he walks past and we talk every day, no more. He and his wife uh, are now uh, in convalescent hospitals, separate ones. They couldn't get them together and uh, they're not coming back. They're not coming back. And the home is in the process of dissolution. All their things will be in the dumpster soon, dissolved away. I visited Bob yesterday at the home. He didn't recognize me. We had a nice talk. He was glad that I visited. He'd been watching Harry Potter. I felt for him. Crammed in that room. Three other people crammed in that little room. They're out of space. The place doesn't want him there. They're out of space. Overcrowded. I want to take Yumiko there too. That was the site. I used to work in such a place, so I know them well. 
but I needed the refresher. Because that, if Yumiko and I are lucky, if we're lucky, that's waiting for us. That it's a I can't think of a way to describe it that doesn't sound awful. But it really is a, a, a place for a holding pattern for, towards death. What optimism? Um, well, I mean, I think the philosopher might be able to, or the religious, or the, I, don't, I could use another word, but I'll leave that one alone. I, I wasn't despairing religion. I was going another direction. I'll just say it. Those who don't think about that stuff, who don't, it's not a thing, right? <laughs> They're just getting by. I don't know how to describe that, but, but the philosopher, the religious, and the, those who are just living might be fine. I don't see how, though. Because I walked through that place yesterday like Stilbo. All my goods with me, seeing it as a my destination if I'm lucky. How would I fare there, knowing that though I have all my goods with me, just like Stilbo, everything else is gone, mostly. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I'm ready to die, I'd be okay. You see where this is going. Heavy thoughts yesterday after seeing that. But enough of that. Bob and I had a nice chat. I told him I'd be back with grapes. He asked me, I asked him, I was trying to figure out what I could bring. We, we settled on fruit. I'll bring him a bag of uh, green grapes. He likes those next time I see him. Big thoughts for a Sunday. <laughs>